What's up everybody, I'm Lockout, and today we're gonna be talking about the best settings for your mouse in Apex Legends. I'm running the uh, G703 Lightspeed Hero from Logitech, and uh, I'll tell you what, I love this wireless mouse, and I love Apex Legends. If you guys wanna see more content like this, you guys like stuff like this, please like, subscribe. Make sure that you do stay tuned for every new video that I post. I do this multiple times a week. This is a new YouTube channel, but we are gonna do big things in 2020, baby, with support from people like you. So please, click the button, help a fella out. Help a fella out. I almost didn't say that right, and I had to record this all over again. Help a fella out. So, jumping right into it, guys, real quick. What I do have, like I said, is the Logitech G703 Lightspeed Hero. Okay, this is my G Hub right here. Uh, I am running 800 DPI. I am running a thousand hertz polling rate. Alrighty. And what I'm gonna tell you right now is if you have a high DPI that is in your mouse, or whatever mouse it is that you're using, no matter if it's this mouse or another mouse, you're a wrist aimer, you're gonna be inaccurate. Guys like me are gonna nuke you. You're probably wondering why you're getting nuked. That's why you're over here right now. This right here is gonna help you, I promise you. So let's go ahead and just jump into our game. All right, so as we're over here into the game now, you guys notice that I am moving my mouse this much right here, turn, look. So, now at 800 DPI, you want your in-game settings for your mouse to be anywhere from 1.5 to 2.0. I run at 2.0 with an ADS of 1.1. This gives me control over automatic weapons and close fights, medium fights, and Say like uh, you know a longbow with a scope on it or anything like this way far away this is enough movement for me to have agility in close fights and enough control for the long-range battle and snipers so mid-range game close range game I'm lethal uh, long-range game yeah I'm probably going to hurt you pretty bad out there and then as you approach closer I'm really gonna hurt you um, what you want basically is depending on the size of your mouse pad this is how big my mouse pad is right here okay now i'm gonna go ahead and change uh over to this screen but you guys can see this is my mouse pad all right now when you're taking the mouse and you're going from here to here or back all right you see it that's the size of my mouse pad one side to the other all right Let's go back to the game. Now, one side of the mouse pad, all the way over. One side of the mouse pad, all the way over. As you guys can see right here, this is one full rotation on my mouse pad, okay? We're doing a 360. We're starting and stopping in the same area that we begin in, no matter what, because that's the setting that we have for the size of our mouse pad. Now, if you have a bigger mouse pad, you will turn your in-game sensitivity down to do a full 360 all the way across it. And the reason that you're gonna set this to do one 360, no matter what the size of your mouse pad is, if it's this big, or if it's this big or this big, at 800 DPI, that gives you enough control over your cursor so that when you open up your backpack, you can grab stuff and accurately get a hold of it and drop it. Drop uh, something like a med kit if you if you picked up meds and your, your teammates hurting and you need to drop a med for them or whatever it is, you can jump on there real fast at 800 DPI. If you're at 2000 DPI, you're gonna move so small on your mouse pad that you're gonna take, your cursor will end up way over here. You're gonna be in this big fight and you're in such a rush that you, you're not accurately clicking the things that you need to at such a high DPI with so much else that's going on that's in the game that's already a, a high-paced game. So, 
Set your mouse resolutions to be 14360 at 800 DPI. Now you can run 400 DPI and multiply your in-game sensitivity by two. So I would be running theoretically at 400 DPI anywhere from about 3.6 to 4.0. 4.0 would probably be a little bit much because at 400 DPI it changes. Okay, I am running 1080p, 144 hertz, 1ms, FreeSync monitor. I have a GTX 1080. I do have all my settings turned down in the game so that I'm able to run a consistent frame time. If you guys notice what's going on up here in the top yellow of, of my screen, I have it locked, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> 6 FPS below my FPS limiter, or I mean 6 PS below my monitor's refresh rate limit is 144 FPS, okay? I, uh, that way that as my free sync or G-Sync is enabled, I stay within my variable refresh rates top end limit. And that gives me a stable frame time. By having that stable frame time and having a, uh, a consistent mouse setting, I'm able to build muscle memory. Because if I have frames that are going anywhere from 105 to 220, I can peg this baby out at 299, but I don't pull 300 frames stable all the time. Nor can I even see it because I got a 144 hertz monitor. So staying within my G-Sync range, setting my frame time limit within uh, rtss if you don't know what rtss is it's going to be one of the videos that i have that's around here or you can find it on my channel um click that that'll help you with your frame pacing so that you're able to get consistent frame pacing so that as you move your mouse around you're getting consistent movements across all frames that are being rendered from whatever graphics card it is whatever monitor it is okay having even consistent frame times and a consistent frame rate will help your aim tremendously because sometimes you're gonna be running at 200 FPS, sometimes you'll be running at 90, depending on what it is. By setting a, a consistent frame rate limit that your computer can maintain no matter what, your 1% lows is, your 1% highs, and your frame time. So setting a, maintain, uh, setting a, a, st a stable frame time that you're able to maintain will help your mouse settings. So don't have your shit going all crazy, 200 FPS, 300 FPS, 120, and then you get into big fights and it's, you're getting 1% lows down into the holy crap marks. That makes you get stutters and you're not consistent because your game is stuttering and you've moved your mouse. Say your game stutters, that, 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 and you've moved your mouse. Well, it didn't register that in the stutters. Stable frame time is going to help you maintain a consistent aim. That, that shit called common sense, man. You can't buy that. <laughs> so going back over into this setting here right now, guys. We're just going to review what we have going on, all right? For our mouse, we have it set at 800 DPI. Let's go back into the G-Hub here. So we are at 800 DPI. Now, if you play down at 400 DPI, your in-game sensitivity is going to be multiplied a little bit. All right, I'm running at 800 DPI and 2.0 for my 12 inch mouse pad that's from Logitech, all right? I do have uh, a 36 inch mouse pad that's underneath that one that my keyboard and this other mouse pad sits on and everything, and I could just use that, but I prefer a hard gaming mouse pad. Um, my Logitech G703 is able to slide around on it, you know, real nice. And I, I like the way that it feels. I, I, I get, uh, I feel more consistent by, by feeling more consistent. Uh, it gives me confidence by having that confidence. I know like I, I actually am going to kill or shoot and hit the target that I am aiming at because I have this confidence built up because I, it feels good to me. It's natural. Keep these settings. Once you set these settings, don't change them. I don't care if you got a 20 kill game or you have a two kill game. Build the muscle memory. It'll take you 20, 40 hours, depending on the person, depending on how much time you play, depending on how, everybody's different, right? So just take the time, set it at 800 DPI, 2.0 in the game. This is for a 12 inch mouse pad, all right? Um, you know, if your mouse pad is 18 inches, you, you, you might be able to run 1.7, 1.4, because that'll be your full 360 in the game, all right? That, that's where I find is the most stable consistency for me to be able to maintain a consistent aim on top of maintaining a stable frame time within the game, okay? Stable frame times, 
gives me smoother transitions with my mouse because the frames are evenly paced. I'm not stuttering, I'm not getting 200 here and 130 there, and I'm moving differently across the map. Um, keeping my frames at a maintainable rate that my computer can always push improved my accuracy 140%. Just doing that simple setting alone, instead of just uncapping it and letting them fry, fly wild, and I had 1% lows that were way high, and 1% highs that were super crazy, and then my stable frame time was, you know, 190 the whole time, and then I'd dip down into the one, 110s or 120s, and then I'd bounce up into the 280s and 290s, depending on where I was in Apex, and my aim was all over the place because of how inconsistent the game was. Sometimes it felt really floaty and nice, and other times it felt real weighed down within the server. So setting this to something that I was able to maintain 100% of the time almost instantly improved my aim. And then slowing my DPI down and setting a, a, a setting and then playing with it for five, six, seven, ten 10 days, man, I'm to where I am now. And I, I will wipe you and your squad if you're not ready for it you know i'm not the best guy in the world but i am definitely above par when it comes to playing apex legends or other shooter games or world of warcraft i've got 15 years in world of warcraft but we're not talking about that that's neither here nor there the point is is that i've been doing this for a long time and i understand other people's frustrations and i hope something like this was able to help you out so if you liked what you guys watched here if you learned anything uh you know do what everybody else does when we do the call to action thing right here like it subscribe it click it i'm lockouts baby peace